All right, well, welcome back to part three. Um, I guess the last one, studio audience said that we had moved a little too fast. So that's the reason that we're doing these videos, is so that you know you can get on your phone, go back in time, watch some stuff, catch up on some things, all right, so that you can work at your own pace. All right, so um, that's what these videos are for. They're a good resource for you. Now, what I'm gonna do in this section I want to go ahead, we're going to skip over this front car, which we'll come back in and put in later. All right, it's just a, just another version of what's here. It just is going to take up less space. And I'll show that at the end, but I do want to go ahead before I do that and get this back set of houses in so that we go ahead and um, have that taken care of. All right, now we know we have a car it's sitting on the road. All right, this is basically one of the lines for the road so that we didn't get confused. Now, this line over here all right we can probably move up just a hair because if not we're not going to have enough room on our road to have two cars so i'm going to go ahead and edit that real quick yours may not need it so don't freak out you're like oh i gotta erase it and then it, it messes up something later do good choices make good choices all right so if you need to adjust that adjust it if you don't then don't worry about it all right now see how just by moving that up just a little bit that gives me a little bit more room all right because this will be the bottom part of the sidewalk just like this sidewalk is here this will be the bottom of that so that just gives me a little bit more room to create in all right and to drive in all right now i do want to just as a placeholder all right i'm going to lightly sketch in some value in this area so that i don't go back into that Alright, so I want to put that in. That way I know that that's got to be road. Alright, now from here, if you've done the One Point City tutorial uh, in some of your other art classes or in one of my other art classes, then this is basically just making another uh, sidewalk. So I'm going to take this bottom line. I'm going to scale up just a tad bit and give it a buddy. Alright, this shouldn't be very big because this is more of a distance now. Alright. And then I'm going to give it another body, which indicates the top plane, all right, or the part that we would walk on, all right. So you would have, like in your, uh, in your road, you'd have a little bit up, and then this would come over, and I'll eyeball, I'll kind of eyeball this in, so up, over, up, over, up, over, all right. So that gives you that sidewalk over there, all right. Now, from here... All right, we want to start establishing some more houses. All right, you've got your horizon line. All right, you've got this diagonal line here. All right, so let's go ahead and go up above and let's start sketching some houses. So there's a top line. All right, we could stay with it. We may break it a couple times, but that's a good, you know, top of our, uh, top of our houses. All right. Now, before I go any further, I do want to throw in one extra small line right there. That way I can bring my houses back. And then from here, start sketching it a little bit. Putting those two lines in. Gonna make the A-frame. Now at this side of the house, I'm actually gonna do the opposite. All right, I'm gonna put the garage kind of off to the side. So this will be like front of the house and the garage is gonna be connected over here. So A-frame it. Goes back into space like that. And once again, I'm just slightly sketching in, and I'll go back and fix in a second. Now, this is where the garage is going to go. All right, it's a little further back this time.
Now I am going to throw in some some shrubbery on the outside here. I'm going to go ahead and make some windows. Now I'm starting to run out of visual space, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of tee this off and just put in a little bit of shrubbery back here. And that finishes my little bigger house. Alright, now I know I sketched that in, alright, but notice the rules that I've done. I've got taller window or taller line, alright, it connects to the vanishing point then the shorter line is dictated by that. All right? So if you can hold these principles together, all right, you got the taller line here. This connects to the vanishing point. All right? Watch my ruler. So I have this line connects toward the vanishing point. All right? So there's that edge. Then that fixes that. All right? So if you can hold steady to that, and that anything that's on the city street should be slanted. Anything going away from the city street should have a little bit of, well not a little bit, actually should be straight across. Alright? Now at this point we throw in some grass. Hoorah for grass. You maybe even have a little light pole here. Alright, then from here what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, we're going to take a little bit, we'll go in and clean it up, alright, and then I'll post on the Google Classroom what the finished piece should look like by hand, alright. So thank you guys for tuning in. I know that was really quick, but please use the tutorial for what it's, for its purpose. Watch it, um, rewind it, fast forward, find places where you're having trouble with, alright, break that down a little bit, and then learn at your own speed, alright. So. Even though the picture's not done, I will complete it. We'll put, we'll post it on the Google Classroom. All right, but um, we will go from there. So thank you guys for tuning in. This concludes the three-part tutorial of the suburban street.